this is Josh Taylor with Trade Advisor Pro and I want to thank you for checking out our video today. Now before we get started with today's free forex training video, I want to give you a chance to pause this video right now and go to our website. Trade Advisor Pro offers you free forex training, free forex training videos and trade alerts. And folks, you do not want to miss our trade alerts. We send out a bunch of trade alerts every month that are top rated in the industry. We send you our exact trades right to your inbox. Pause the video now. Go to tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash free and all you have to do is register and then come back to this video and we'll be sending a lot more goodies to help you with your forex trading. Enjoy today's training video. So now I want to move on to some live charts and we're talking about show you some live trading. And I want you to think about foreign currency trading. When we talked about, we just showed you two pictures of charts, right? One was a complete mess. All these crazy indicators are supposedly going to show you where to be entering or exiting trades. And then there is a simple system that I use, which is nothing but support and resistance. Okay, so let's talk about this. Let's look at a pair here. In fact, I had a pair I want to bring up. All right. This is a picture of the chart we just had up here a little bit ago. This is a live trading chart. In fact, so while we're talking, you may see this price go up and down a few pips here. Every one of these points is called a pip, a price index point. Um, when they're yen pairs, uh, any currency pair that's trading against a yen is only going to be two decimal points past. Uh, and other currency pairs are most of the, most of the time four decimal points, right? So every one of these, like like you see, this is the euro US dollar, which is at 32.62, which means it takes 1.3262 US dollars to buy one euro. Okay, and so as the value of the um, actually as economic factors happen in each country, in this case the euro against the US dollar. As any economic factors to come out, whether it's news releases on where the current economic conditions are in the U.S. or current economic conditions in the Euro, that would cause the value of one of our currency pairs to strengthen against the other. These currency pairs move up and down. And in fact, it, it looks difficult, but it's actually very predictable. In fact, I want to go to um, a currency pair that we've been trading a lot for the last couple of weeks. We've had a I don't know how many, seven, eight profitable trades of this pair. And you can see this is the Euro Yen. And the this is the Euro against the Yen. So we've been, if, here's, here's a concept you need to write down. Okay, and this is non-scripted guys. I'm just sitting here blabbing on a video to explain to you guys how this works. And this is something that's very, very important. So I'm going to say this slowly. I'm going to repeat it and I want you to understand this. Currency pairs trade within a range 80% of the time. Now, here's what this means. Um, on this current chart, you can see that there's times where price spikes up, breaks down, spikes up, down, up real quick. But most of the time, you can see that this currency pair has been trading in what we call ranges. Let me squeeze this in a little bit more. This is a range. See this? Boom, 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 boom. 80% of the time. Eventually, this is going to break out. In fact, we're getting really close because price is squeezing in what we call a pennant pattern where this resistance point is held firm and this trend line is held firm. It's moving up, 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 up. And we're going to see this thing break out. So it will break out, but eventually it'll go back into another range. Here's a range here. See, in this area. I'm going to move, I'm going to move this down. And not not all the ranges are going to be perfect, but you can see that for the most part, price is boom, 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 boom. Now, then it broke out down into another range and it got into another range. 80% of the time, a currency pair will trade within a range. So our goal is to trade these ranges. And for instance, on this euro pound trade, uh, a, a currency pair. We've actually been trading this thing for the last couple of weeks very, very successfully. We continually bought here, sold here, bought here, sold, bought, sold, bought, and currently, as of this morning, we actually sold this pair. We're already up a small amount, five percent. I mean, five pips in profit. 
but we're expecting this pair to come back down at least down to this trend line. We're going to close that at a profit and which we will buy again. So um, I want you to think about currency pairs and these price levels, which we call ranges, okay, as an apartment building. Now, if you let, let's, let's say this is a 10 story apartment building, okay, and we're going to put a line here, okay, and we're, I'm going to color, color this so you can see it. We're going to call this the, we're just going to say this is a floor, okay, this is the ground floor, okay. Now, you can see that that this currency pair seems to have a ceiling. There's, you know, there's certain spots where the price, like here, for days, is, it tried to break through this and it could not break through, could not properly break through. And same with here, this 8400 mark. As you can see, price all the way back from mid December, I think it's December 14th, that this price has been trying to break through the ceiling. Okay, remember, floor, ceiling. Now, <clears throat> so here we were. We, here's a floor, here's a, and here's a floor, okay? Now, and here's a floor. So we got three floors, one, two, three. Now, you can see here that price has been stuck on the ceiling. Imagine like you're jumping up and down on a trampoline in your apartment. You can't break through your ceiling. You, every time you jump up, your hands hit the ceiling, you jump back down. <clears throat> and you have the floor holding you. This is called a support, okay? So you can see that this current pair is going up. It would not break through the ceiling. Small breaks, it's not the big deal. This is a breakthrough, okay? These are, at tr this is price trying to trying to break through and trying to test this resistance level. <clears throat> Came all the way down to the ceiling, floor, I mean. Back to the ceiling, floor, it, it fought. Eventually it broke through the floor and it walked itself down to the basement, right? Stayed here for a little bit, broke back up into the, into the floor. And so think about this. <clears throat> Eventually, this price is going to break up, either down or up, and it's going to go into a new floor and a new range, either down, back up, back out, go, either go up, or it's going to be break down to a new range, or it's going to break down into our lower range. So our goal here is when we're trading these currency pairs, is to sell, find the range, sell at the at the ceiling, and buy in the basement, or like we've been we've been. We've been right in this range. We didn't. We didn't buy here. What we bought in, in here. We. You can see these two green lines. The reason I drew these green lines. This has been a strong range that we're in. We've been buying and selling like crazy. You buy at the bottom. We're selling at the top. When we sell at the top. <coughs> price drops down. We we ha we close our profit up in this range. When we buy, we're closing our profit up in this range. And we've been taking these trades almost daily at this point for the last two weeks. Okay, does that make sense? So think about it. F same here. Back back in November of 2011, all the way through to mid December, <clears throat> this thing r rode in a range between this 86 something mark and 8500. <clears throat> it just kept every day rotating through, rotating through. In fact, you probably bring this up here, it's actually tighter into the range, more trading opportunities. <clears throat> okay. And what we simply do, one of the things we do is we want to make sure we put a stop loss in these trades. So because we can't, we're not, we don't hold a crystal ball. We cannot predict the direction to to the hundred percent guarantee mark. Okay, there's no guarantee. These are the best potential opportunities that if price drives up to here, this is a good place to sell, which is where we're at now. Okay, and based on past data, that's where it's at. Eventually, we'll, we will break out of that range. But, so what we do is we put a stop, what's called a stop loss. And that is if this price moves up to a certain point, then it is obviously gone way beyond a range. It's broken out of the range, and we want to make sure we close at a certain point to minimize our risk. Okay, and we, we talk about in one of our um, videos on risk management that I don't like to risk more than 2% of my account balance on one given trade. So if I've got $100,000 in my trading account, I do not want to risk more than 2%. So that trade goes against me and I get stopped out. It forces it to close because price drove up the wrong direction. I do not want to risk more than 2% or 2,000 bucks. Why? Because when I wake up in the morning, if I have $100,000 in my account and I lost $2,000, it's not going to freak me out, right? 
But if you're leveraging 20% of your account and you woke up and you lost $20,000, you're going to freak out. And what happens at that point is you many people do what's called revenge trading. They they start fighting to get their $20,000 back. And in doing so, they're taking their – instead of waiting the market out and being patient – they are clicking buttons because they want to get in a trade and try to gamble. At that point, the gambling bug takes over, and all reason goes out the window, and they start losing money. So the goal is if, if you don't over leverage your count and you're patient, you can trade these uh, these swings. This is what I what we call swing trading. In these ranges, put a proper stop loss. Okay, and we'll talk about how to how to look at proper entry points and exit exit points and stop losses in another training video. But and be very successful as a, as a trader. Now, again, if you've not signed up for our webinar, you, I highly suggest doing that because we talk about how to do this in depth. But we also talk about our unbelievable trade service, which we talked about earlier, where we are actually sending out 12 to 15 trades a week. That we say here's a good. Uh, entry point. Um, we're going to put a stop loss down here, and we're going to close out a profit here. And we show you exactly where to do it. We have tra uh, video market update videos that show you why we took certain trades, so you can get more educated on 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 your own. So you can start looking at charts and, and making some of your own decisions. But our trades alone, I mean, here we are, 21 days into the month, uh, we've had 16 profitable trades. Um, only two losses for the entire month, which is unre unreal, unheard of, because of the way we trade um, compared to the most of the other services out there is is a completely different setup. So way simpler, and it works. Every, a lot of these companies are, are using too many indicators that do not work. Okay, support and resistance, people. Keep it simple. So anyway, if you've not signed up for the webinar, sign up below, and uh, you definitely want to give us a test, uh, a trial run on um, the uh, signal service where we send you these trades uh, every day and um, you can actually try it for a buck when you get on the webinar we actually give you a chance to try it for a dollar for one week it doesn't cost you anything you don't, you don't like the service you can get you have, uh, we'll send you your buck back it's not a big deal but anyway enough of the um, shameless promotion there but here, that's it in, in a nutshell for today's training video Watch this video a few times, and we're going to get deeper into proper exit points, equity management, and uh, more details of how the Forex market works in future training videos. Now, folks, if you've not already signed up for one of our free Forex webinar trainings, I highly suggest that you do that now. A lot of the information that you're finding in our videos is covered in much greater detail in our webinars. Uh, it doesn't matter where you're at as a trader, whether you're a professional trader, you've been trading for 20 or 30 years, or if you're brand new, you've never heard of Forex, the information in our webinars is going to help steer you in the right direction and show you how to be profitable as a trader, how to protect yourself from loss, and how to make Forex trading fun and profitable for you. So here's where you want to go. You want to go to tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash Forex, okay? So register now and sign up for our free Forex webinar at tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash Forex. Forex. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's training video. If you have not done so already, stop this video now and go to tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash free and register absolutely free for free Forex training, free Forex training videos, and free Forex trade alerts directly to your inbox. Go to the website right now and register for free. All kinds of goodies for you. Thanks a lot.